Our world is rife with mysteries of all sorts, and as a species, we seek to uncover as many of them as possible, always drawn to the unknown. The cosmos is vast and profound, abundant with things that could fill our wildest imaginations. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three cosmic discoveries. Galaxy discovered on the edge of the universe, Abel 2744Y1 The discovery of a brand new galaxy is always intriguing. Abel 2744Y1 is one such galaxy which lies on the very edge of our observable universe. This galaxy is an estimated 50 times smaller than our own Milky Way at about 2,300 light years in width. The shocking element is that despite its tiny size, it produces 10 times the number of stars than our Milky Way does. It also has a red shift of 8. Red shift measures a galaxy's wavelength due to the universe's expansion. Until now, most galaxies have had a wavelength redshift of 7, this proving it is on the very edge of our understanding. The galaxy was discovered using NASA's Spitzer and Hubble Space Telescopes, with the use of special gravitational lenses made specifically to help astronomers see further into outer space and detect distant galaxies behind the Abel 2744 galaxy cluster by magnifying the light from behind those galaxies. The Abel 2744Y1 finding was part of the Frontier Field program established by NASA. The program was created with seeking further galaxies in mind and really reaching as far as we can possibly go in terms of seeing even further out of the universe to try and witness more of the early cosmos. It's hoped that six galaxy clusters in total will be analysed under the Frontier Fields program. According to Dr. Nicholas Laporte from the Instituto de Astrophysica de Canarias, we expected to find very distant galaxies close to the cluster core, where the light amplification is maximum. However, this galaxy is very close to the edge of the Hubble image, where the light is not strongly amplified. We are really lucky that we could find it in the small field of view of Hubble. In a statement, fellow astronomers commented, the long exposure image of the cluster Abel 2744 is the deepest one obtained so far of a cluster of galaxies and is comparable to the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. This is, without a shred of a doubt, the most primordial galaxy we have ever seen. Its discovery itself is a blessing to researchers as it gives immense insight into the early universe and how galaxies formed. It's so ancient that the light from it that reaches the Earth is from long-gone stars that faded 13 billion years ago. Our modern image of Abel 2744Y1 reflects how it looked at the time of the early universe when it was an estimated 650 million years old. This is an amazing facet and lets us analyse much of our universe's past, especially given that the current theory for the age of the universe is about 13.8 billion years. Despite being a primordial galaxy, the pace at which it is still creating new stars mimics the pace of early universe galaxies, which are believed to have done much of the same. Nevertheless, it implies that this galaxy never slowed its star production even billions of years later and is still going strong. The Spitzer telescope used the electromagnetic spectrum to provide further insight into the galaxy from the infrared data collected using the Hubble Space Telescope. The Chandra Observatory was also used by scientists to further their research. Recording its X-ray wavelengths to find out as much as they can about Abel 2744Y1. NASA's Spitzer Science Center astronomer Jason Saras claims just a handful of galaxies at these great distances are known. The Frontier Fields program is already working to find more of these distant, faint galaxies. This is a preview of what's to come. Astronomers reveal secrets of the most distant supernova ever detected. A team of multinational astronomers assembled by the University of Southampton announced their discovery of an extraordinary supernova, and not just any supernova, but the most distant one we have ever witnessed, giving us a window into 10.5 billion years ago at the infancy of our universe. The star in question, titled DES16C2NM, was found using the DES Dark Energy Survey during a universal collaboration to map the cosmos and the millions of galaxies we know of. 
in the hope of finding out more about dark matter and energy thought to be behind the universe's endless expansion. The study was published in the Astrophysical Journal and showcases that this supernova, since the light from the supernova took 10.5 billion years to travel to us, is the oldest and furthest one we have ever seen. It's absolutely primordial. Supernovae are eruptions of colossal stars that occur when they use up all their natural fuel and end in a glorious burst of light and energy. DES 16C2NM was categorized as a superluminous supernova, which are the brightest and the most difficult type of supernova to find in space. The first superluminous supernova was only found a decade ago, and there is still much we do not know about them. It's thought these are caused when a dense neutron star rotates at immense speeds in the explosion of a star at the end of its life. Dr. Matthew Smith of the University of Southampton states, it's thrilling to be part of the survey that has discovered the oldest known supernova. DES 16C2NM is extremely distant, extremely bright, and extremely rare, not the sort of thing you stumble across every day as an astronomer. The ultraviolet light from SLSN informs us of the amount of metal produced in the explosion and the temperature of the explosion itself, both of which are key to understanding what causes and drives these cosmic explosions. Because of its distance from Earth, this allows scientists a deeper insight into the nature of superluminous supernovae themselves, as well as how they are formed and whether currently existing theories are correct. Professor Mark Sullivan Dr. Smith's co-worker claims, finding more distant events to determine the variety and sheer number of these events is the next step. Now we know how to find these objects at greater distances, we are actively looking for more of them as part of the Dark Energy Survey. DES 16C2NM was found back in August of 2016 and had the VLT, Magellan and Keck Observatory all hyper-focused on researching it. These three observatories are known to be the most powerful ones on Earth. Professor Bob Nickel of the University of Portsmouth said about the matter, such supernovae were not thought of when we started DES over a decade ago. Such discoveries show the importance of empirical science. Sometimes you just have to go out and look up to find something amazing. Since the beginning of the Dark Energy Survey in 2013, over 25 international institutions have got involved and the project is a collaboration of over 400 individual scientists. Tiny Oddball Galaxy Discovered Lurking in Our Cosmic Backyard The Hubble Space Telescope has discovered a myriad of galaxies, and recently it's able to add yet another to their list. Astronomers found a group of stars belonging to another unknown galaxy that were believed to be part of the Milky Way, until now. This hidden galaxy is 30 million light-years away from Earth and is isolated from the rest of its surroundings. The team of astronomers were researching NGC 6752, a star cluster at 13,000 light-years from us, which lies on the edge of the Milky Way. After thorough investigation, they realized that NGC 6752 was not a cluster but rather stars significantly further than initially believed. Luigi Bedin, the Italian astronomer that found the galaxy commented on the discovery. This was a truly serendipitous find. The galaxy was titled Bedin 1, in honor of its finder. Bedin 1 looks minuscule even under the Hubble telescope's massive magnification, 30 times dimmer and smaller than the Milky Way, explaining why it has not been found until now. The Milky Way is a spiral galaxy. Bedin 1, in comparison, is what's referred to as a dwarf spheroidal galaxy, and is one of only 36 galaxies like it known to currently exist within the bounds of our Milky Way and the galaxy of Andromeda. The galaxy is an awe-inspiring 13 billion years old, making it one of the oldest fragments of the early cosmos as one astronomer referred to it as a living fossil of what the universe was like when it was still forming. Jay Pasachoff, an American astronomer from Massachusetts, commented, it's fun to find something interesting in your backyard that you never knew existed. The Hubble Space Telescope's field of view, perhaps that of a grain of rice held at arm's length, is so small that it is rare that an extra object peeks into it, but that is what happened this time.
But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.